What's going on everyone? I'm out here just having a little hike for a little bit of mindfulness, a little bit of exercise, and just the peace and quiet. The only thing that I can really hear right now is the sound of my own mind and the sound of my footsteps and the sounds of the birds singing. And it's just such a beautiful day. The temperature is perfect. So I want to go through with you guys one of the steps of mitigation of risk, one of the barriers, the facets that I have been incorporating into my life as a routine day by day which is diet, nutrition. And this is something that is so important just to live a healthy life. But if you have epileptic seizures, it is key that you're making sure that you're staying healthy by what you're putting in your A study conducted at the Emory School of Medicine has actually come up with some pretty astonishing results with the ketogenic diet. They found that 50% of the participants uh, who were studied throughout these trials had experienced a 50% reduction or more in seizure activity. And 10 to 15% of those adolescents that were studied actually became seizure free for the time. Now, this diet actually alters the genes that are involved in energy metabolism in the brain, which helps to stabilize the neurons and the neurotransmitters uh, that are exposed during a seizure. In the hippocampus, the area of the brain that is a tribute to a large portion of seizure dis disorders or where a lot of seizures actually originate during ketosis of the body, the mitochondria uh, are, are proven to be um, heightened at a state of ketosis. And so there's actually more mitochondria in the neurons and the neurotransmitters per unit area of the brain in the hippocampus. And what this does is it's an increased energy production of the brain. So it helps to stabilize those neurons, uh, stabilize those neurotransmitters, and basically the functionality um, and the, the um, strength of the brain during, before, and after um, that heightened uh, electromagnetic activity. So that's essentially how ketosis works in the mind, how, how it works through the back end and, and how it, it is helping to reduce your seizures if, uh, the, if ketosis and the ketogenic diet is something that you uh, have taken on in order for that seizure reduction. Now how you're gonna accomplish this is you're gonna have to accomplish a state of ketosis by uh, basically ramping up your fats to two to three grams of fats per day per kilogram of body weight and pulling down your carbohydrate intake to one to two grams of carbohydrates per kilogram of body weight per day. Now I, I usually go into ketosis every two to three months. The reason I do it every two to three months is it's almost like taking a break from caffeine after drinking coffee for a while, taking a break from caffeine and then having that first like half cup of coffee because it, it makes me revitalize. It gives me that focus that I need as, as I talked about how um, you get that um, increased sense of energy because of the mitochondria that are being um, produced in the hippocampus of the mind. So you have that extra energy production, especially if you're taking a lot of medication and you're trying to counter the effects of medication. Now, side effects of ketosis, you will notice within the first two weeks of ketosis or trying to go into a state of ketosis that you may um, have a sense of sluggishness. And this is just because your body doesn't think it's getting any energy. And so your body is going to go into survival mode. When it goes into survival mode, basically, um, it's gonna stop stop using those carbs, especially if you know, you're not feeding it any carbs. It's gonna stop using those carbs and it's going to learn how to efficiently burn fat for energy, which is a good thing. It just is gonna take your body a while to get used to. We have all this fat all around us um, as uh, a s stored energy. And when your body thinks that it's not receiving the carbohydrates it needs. That's what it's gonna use and that's what it's gonna tap into energy, which can be a good thing actually, believe it or not, even though you're eating more fat in your diet, your body's gonna be more efficient at burning that fat. So when I go into ketosis, I actually lose between five to eight pounds um, of body weight during that time. Now I, through the last two years, have had a pretty restrictive schedule um, and it's demanding and I like to meal plan and I like to prep my meals one day during the week because I love cooking 
and I like to make sure that I'm eating a consistent healthy diet whether or not it's a ketogenic diet or not. Ketosis is something that takes a lot of um, a lot of basically kind of supervision which should be kind of administered by a dietitian or a doctor and the reason is because you do have to dial in those numbers of fats and carbs based on your age based on how much you know your 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 body um, burns and, and, and cholesterol and things like that you can do this on top of your regular anti-epileptic uh, medication daily and I would encourage you guys to try it out because I think this is a really beneficial diet in the reduction of seizures I have noticed that it gives me a good sense of focus because when your body goes into survival mode when it doesn't have those carbohydrates it says let's go out and get food so it's it's yes it's burning those fats and those fats are almost like that last resort and if you're feeding it fats it's no problem but so you'll actually start to get what they call uh, fight or flight hormones which are you know cortisol which is a stress hormone which isn't always great in certain circumstances but if it's controlled and it's balanced um, then it gives you kind of a good sense of focus, uh, adrenaline, a little bit heightened sense of adrenaline, and even proven levels uh, and some heightened testosterone as well. So that's kind of really why I enjoy ketosis because it gives me this really um, good sense of energy and focus that I can really kind of hone in on, especially if it's during a time when you're taking these anti-epileptic medications that are suppressing that brain activity already and you want something to counter that um, while still feeling protected. Now, don't take away your medication. Don't pull away your medication all at once. This is something that should be tried um, and administered by a doctor or a dietitian after you've discussed it with your doctor. And it's, it's actually extremely important that you stay on your basic regimen of medication. So going through all of those things, I just want to um, basically let you guys know that ketosis and the ketogenic diet is something that is an awesome option. It's something that I do every two to three months um, going into ketosis. It's not something that I am consistently um, doing day by day, but two to three months for about three to four weeks. Try it out. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any thoughts. Let me know if you have any comments. Um, I've been experimenting quite a while now and I want to shed this kind of information on you guys so that um, you know you can be informed um, and I hope this one works out for you guys I hope that this is kind of something that you guys uh, find enjoyable have an awesome day So some final thoughts on ketosis, uh, a couple things to keep in mind if you guys are interested in this, if this is something that uh, you think is a good alternative to medication or is something that, you know, instead of being necessarily an immediate alternative is something that perhaps you just like to try out. When I go into ketosis, um, as a couple of helpful hints, I like to begin the process with a fast instead of going directly into the um, reduction in carbs and increased fat. And the reason why I like to fast is because it actually um, makes the process of ketosis itself a little bit more efficient. So the process will, will start faster because with a fast, your body is going to go into starvation mode immediately. And by immediately, I mean between 12 and 17 hours. So that initial fast, if you guys are going to try to fast um, to go into that state, should be about 12 to 17 hours. Um, a little bit of a hack just to kind of help you get through that fast because fasting isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do. I use black coffee. Black coffee is a very effective appetite suppressant and as long as you're not putting in cream or sugar into the black coffee, it's only about five calories per cup. So you can use a couple cups of black coffee and just sip on it instead of just drinking water during a fast. It's about five calories and so you can still maintain a decent fast uh, while drinking black coffee to suppress your appetite to make it a little bit easier to go into this state so that your body can get used to it faster. This will make you jump into that survival state much quicker. You will jump into survival mode where your body will convert 
into ketosis where it will begin to digest those fats and those ketones in the liver uh, as opposed to using carbohydrates as that primary fuel source for energy. Another quick kind of funny thing is back in the Middle Ages, um, epilepsy was actually known as morbus demonicus. That was actually the scientific term for epilepsy. And the reason why is because they thought that seizures were actually demonic possession. I know that's like a shot in the face for everyone that's, you know, an epileptic out there and that has seizures. It's, um, it's kind of, I mean, it's, it's kind of interesting though. But um, what they used to do, and they, before they even had research on the ketogenic diet or any sort of uh, diet or nutrition plans for epilepsy, is they used to throw the person in a chamber who was having seizures and essentially starve them of food. And, and just by basically observation, they found that if a person was starved from food, uh, they would stop having seizures. Thank God we have you know research and uh, a little bit better science now to back up our, um, you know, our, the efficacy of our treatments and medications. But at the same time, you know, epilepsy is one of those things that varies so widely across the board. And, you know, some things work for some people, some things don't work for others. So keep this in mind when you guys are um, working on trying to incorporate ketosis in your life. And when you're not in a state of ketosis, remember that uh, essential fats are so vital for the mind and that energy production. They're so vital uh, for the neural processes in your brain to uh, act and react in the ways that your, your body is intended to. So enjoy this. I hope that you guys found this informative. Uh, please, please leave some comments, leave questions below if you have any, and I'll be sure to try to get back with you guys. Let me know if this helps anyone. Let me know. Um, let me know what your story is. Let me know if you've tried ketosis and what you think about it. Um, you know, I'd like to stay connected. I'd like to stay connected with everyone, and I'd like to uh, kind of, um, you know, be part of the community and, and just be a well-informed community. Have an awesome, amazing, and beautiful evening.